Good evening, everyone. You're welcome once more to MEPH, your YouTube channel where we cover lots of topics in math. And uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, the problem on uh, logarithms. And this is a very nice problem because it's a problem that is going to lead to a quadratic equation. Yeah, you can pause this video and append the question, then come back to the video. But right, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's get right straight into the video. All right, the question says solve for x. We have to divide log 4 base x plus 3 divide log x base 4 equals to 7. So how do we go about solving this problem? Our solution, the first thing is, we want to simplify this, and I'm going to apply a lot of logarithm. If I have log, okay, A, B, B, I can write the inverse of this as 1 over what? Log, this will switch. A will take the place of the base, and the base will come here. So this is a reciprocal law of what? Logarithm, where when you put the inverse, you switch this. So B takes the place of A, A takes the place of B. So we want to apply this law, okay, to this part of the what equation. So if I apply it, what are we going to have? Let's see. So I'm going to have two, okay, divide. So this, taking this form, is going to be one divide, okay? I have log four, okay? <laughs> going to be log x base 4, okay? So plus what 3 divide log what x base 4 equals to what 7. Now if you look at what we have on the board, it means this and this are now what's the same, right? So since this and this are now the same, we can now solve for that. Remember, the question says we are going to solve for x. All right, so to solve it further, we are going to simplify this part. Let's simplify this part. So this means 2 divide what base. So I have 2 divide 1 over what log x base 4. Okay. So plus we have 3 divide log x base 4 is equal to 7. All right, so we can simplify this bracket here. So I can write this as 2 times. Once this changes to times, we reverse this. So log x base 4 goes up, so I have log okay, x base 4 divided by 1. Okay, So plus 3 log x base 4 is equal to 7. Now, I've gotten this, we can see that <clears throat> we have 2 times this, which is what? 2 log what? x base 4 plus this is 3 log x base 4 is equal to 7. Now, the question is, what do we do to further simplify it? I can see that I have log x base 4 here and log x base 4 as a denominator. So I want to remove this as a denominator. So how do we remove it? We are going to multiply, since this is over 1, this is over 1. The LCM of this, this, and this is still this. So we are going to use this as the LCM to multiply all this. So multiply 2 by LCM of what? Log what? X base 4. All right, so let's multiply all through by that and see what that gives us. So this part, okay, multiply by that. So 2 log X base 4 multiply by log what? X base 4. It's a plus. I have log x base 4 multiply by what? 3 over log x base 4 
is equals to seven multiply this. So seven multiply log x is four. All right, so this times this is going to give us two log what? x is four all in brackets square. Okay, remember this time this looks like a times a, which is a squared. This time this will give us log x is four all in bracket one square plus. Now these can cancel. This is one one, so we have just what three, which is equal to what seven log what x is four. All right, so I haven't gotten that. <clears throat> What's our next step? All right, I can see that we have log x base 4 here and we have log x base 4 here. Now I want to bring everything to one side. So I have this as 2 log what x base 4 all in bracket square. Okay, so if this should come to this side of the equation, it's going to be minus 7 log x base 4 uh, plus 3 is equal to zero. So all I did is I subtracted this from both sides. If I subtract this here, it's going to be zero. So the subtraction of this is now inside what this left hand side. All right, so from this, this now looks like what the quadratic equation, but let's take a little quadratic equation. You can say let log what x is 4 equals to n. Okay? So it means in place of this, I'm going to substitute m. So this will look like 2 m squared minus 7 m plus 3 is equal to 0. So what do we have? We have what? The quadratic what? Equation on the board. Now we are going to simply solve this quadratic quadratic equation to get the value of n and substitute back into this. So let's do that quickly and see what we are going to get. So solving it, I'm going to use factorization method. Factorization method so that first of all, remember my a here is what? 2, b here is minus 7, c here is 3. Okay? So a times c, first of all, a times c, if you want to do that when you are solving quadrats in terms of factorization. So 2 times 3 is going to give us 6. So since we have 6, the idea is we are going to look for two numbers. Two numbers that their sum, okay, is going to give us 7, and their product is going to give us what? 6. So what are those two numbers? Two numbers that their sum is going to give us what? Seven, that's minus seven, and their product is going to give us what? Six. Okay, by investigation, we have six and one. Okay, so if I have minus six minus one, minus six plus minus one is going to give us what? minus 7. And minus 6 times minus 1 is going to give me what? 6. So these two numbers will replace this. So let's replace that at least. So I have 2m squared. So in place of minus 7m, I'm going to write minus 6m minus 1m, which is minus n. Okay, so plus what? Plus 3 is equal to 0. So from this, what is common here, that is also common here. We can see that for this part, 2m is common. 2 is common between the numbers and m is common. So I'm going to divide this quickly by 2m, minus 6m by what, 2m. Now for this part, we have just minus what, 1. So minus 1 is common because 1 can multiply this, 1 can multiply this, or 1 can divide this, 1 can divide this. So I have what? So m divided by 1 plus 1. Okay, so this is going to be minus. Since we have minus here, this is also going to be minus. So minus 3 divided by 1 equals to 0. 
All right, so I haven't gotten that. We can now solve for this to get our value of what. So this will cancel this is one. This cancel this. So I have to n into what we have just n here minus. This will cancel this is three. This will cancel this is one one. So we have three minus one. And here we have in brackets m minus three is equal to zero. Now from this point, we can see that this is what come up. So I can write all this as m minus three plus, since it's common. So if we factorize all this, we'll be left with what? 2m minus one, which is equal to zero. All right, so from this, we can say m minus three, okay, is equal to zero, or 2m minus one is equal to zero. All right, now we can now solve for what? For the value of m. Let's solve for the value of m quickly. So solving for m, I have m minus three is equal to zero. So if I had three, I'm going to add three. So this is m, this is zero, minus three plus three is zero. So m is equal to zero plus three is three. Or we have two m minus one is equal to zero. I'm going to add one here and add one here. So I have, uh, this is just two m is equal to what? Zero plus one is one. The Bible size by two, so I have m is equal to that. So those are the two values of what m. Now that we've gotten the two values of m, we can now solve for what x. We have to recall. Recall that our log what? We we'll say log x base four is equal to what m. All right, we substituted m for this. So with this, we can now solve for what x. So to solve for x, okay, we are going to use this for m and this for m. So I have log x base four is equal to three, or log what x base four is equal to r. Now do we simplify this? All right, to simplify this, okay, we are going to apply a simple principle of logarithm, we are going to change this logarithm to indices, to index form, and we are going to get our answer. The index form, this comes here, so we have 4 raised to power 3, so this cancels out, so I have x, that I will change it quickly, or this comes here, so it becomes what the power, so we have x. So these are the values of what? Now, x here is going to be what? 4 times 4 times 4. Okay. And uh, x here is equals to 4 raised to the power 2, also means square root of what? 4. All right. So, what's our square root of 4? So, finally, 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is going to give us what? So x is what? 16 times 4. x is equal to 64. Or we have x is equal to square root of 4. x is equal to square root of 4. x is equal to square root of 4 also means what? 2. So the values of x are what? 2 and 64. That gives us a solution to this question. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. It's a nice one. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share this video to your friends, loved ones, and students, and don't forget to leave a comment. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.